Two down. Here's Bill Miller. Miller ripped a double past third down on the field line and eventually scored the Giants run in the first inning. Earlier today, the White Sox were defeated by the Mariners again in the game scene here on ESPN. Mariners lead that American League Division Series now. Two games to none, and they are going to Seattle. Up and away. And I'll have that Seattle bullpen. And I know that was an area for Pat Gillick to try and improve that club. That Seattle bullpen has for years been terrible. And apparently he succeeded, Joe. Not only did they get to the postseason, but they pitched 10 shutout innings in two days in Chicago against one of the great offensive clubs in either league. Yeah, I think the White Sox are maybe the best hitting team overall. Not so much with power, but they're just a group of good young hitters. Barry Bonds would be next. Two down, nobody on. Hampton going to a two-ball count for the first time in this game. Two and one to Miller. Up the middle, and Miller keeps it alive. Bordick made a dive, couldn't get to it. And so Miller, with his second straight hit, keeps the inning going, and Barry Bonds will get a shot at it. single to center his first time and there's a, a pretty good gathering out there in McCovey Cove nautical craft of all types even surfboards just in case Barry takes one into the cove and he got jammed on it bounces it into the Mets dugout on the first base side on one to Bonds well you can see the pattern that Hampton has with Barry the first time up first pitch fastball up and in he fouled it away the next pitch was a fastball he didn't get it in and Barry hit a line drive in the center field for a base hit now he comes right back inside I don't think he'll throw in breaking balls unless he gets two strikes on it. For a cutter yeah that was a cut fastball I think he wants to save the curveball to be his out pitch or his strikeout pitch if he can get two strikes on Barry. But there's no doubt that he thinks that he can get the fastball in. Barnes has had two homers in 33 career at bats against Hampton. Very high with a fastball. Two and one. And one thing the Giants felt was important against Hampton was to not be too over anxious to try and make him throw some pitches and they've not really been able to do that so far. This well, is only the second time he's even gone to two balls on a hitter. Lunges for it. And that cut her away and fouls that one into the seats and it is two and two. Bonds used to be one of the best left handed hitters against left handers. But this year he really struggled against lefties. One of his probably his worst year all, all told against lefties. And one of the reasons he had problems was the fastball in. Just off the outside. And Hampton started off the nine of the dugout. Uh, Hampton obviously displeased with that call, but he does a good job of keeping his composure. Don't watch the pitch, watch Hampton. Just watch his reaction here. And he doesn't want to say anything, and he doesn't want to upset the up. So he does a good job of keeping it in himself. Three and two now. Miller at first. Zeal plays behind him. There goes Miller. That's a fair ball. It hits the railing, and the right fielder, Bell, is hurt. Miller scores. Barnes will go to third. A triple. Two to one Giants, and Bell is down in right field. was going to be Derek Bell playing that carom and keeping Miller from scoring. Instead, he slipped, he fell, he hurt himself. Miller scored easily. Bonds made it to third. Well, Barry Bonds, who has struggled in the playoffs in the past, is making a good impression so far. And I think the reason is that he's more mature now than he was those early years. Another reason, those early years, he was facing Glavin and Avery and the great Atlanta Braves. 
pitching staff. Now watch, he tries to get inside again, and Barry turns on it and pulls it fair down the line. And when the ball hits the stands, it carries right back straight across. And Bell tried to stop, and when he stopped, he pulled something. Or Now watch, he'll try to stop right there. He slips, actually. He slipped, and he may have twisted his knee. And he hobbles after the ball, and then he throws it back in. But I think Barry knew that Hampton was going to try to come inside. He's going to try to come inside, and he was ready for the fastball, and he turned on it. Well, it's good to see him on his feet. Fred Hina, the Mets head trainer out there with him. Along with manager Bobby Valentine. Looks like he's telling him he wants to continue, Joe. What do you think? Daryl Hamilton getting ready just in case in the Mets dugout. 